right, math lesson, uh, seventh grade, lesson 37. This one is on area of a triangle, and then also rectangle area, rectangular area, part two. Okay, so let's talk about something real quick. Okay, now I'm drawing a triangle, okay? There are two measurements that you need to know whenever you are um, working with finding the area of a triangle. You need to know the base, which is the bottom, and then you need to know the height. Those are the two things you need to know when you're trying to find the area of a triangle, okay? So that's really important for you to write down. Now, sometimes they're going to look like this. Sometimes they're going to be short on their height. I'm just going to put an H. And then their base is going to be longer or bigger, okay? And even some other times, I want you to look at this one right here, okay? We've got a base that you can easily see, but look here. This is slanted line, and this one is a slanted line. We have to have something that goes straight up and down for it to be our height. Just like if there you were going to measure my height, you'd want me to stand straight up, okay? Same thing here. To find the height of a triangle, you want to make sure you have a line that's standing straight up. So a lot of times, if the line is not already made by the triangle, um, the book will go on and put a dotted line, and that's to show you that from the bottom of this base to the top of this is the height. So that would be my H, my height. Okay? So I just wanted you to see a few different examples of where the height and base would be on all these. All right? Now, let's do a few more that have wider angles that are like obtuse. For example, look at this. This is an obtuse triangle. Why? Because look at this big fat angle that it makes. This is an obtuse triangle. Okay? Now, I want you to look at, we can see that this would be our base, right? Okay, but where's our height? This slanted line cannot be a height because it's slanted. This slanted line cannot be a height. So what the book does to try to create its own, they'll do this dotted line from here to here. And that just they're just extending this to bring us to a place where we can come to the top, okay? You're still just determining the height, okay? So this is the way the book will do it, all right? Same way if it's on the other side, for example, the obtuse angle is on this side. This is the base right here, and then they'll, the book will do the same thing. They'll put a dotted line <coughs> to show that this is the height right here, okay? So just to kind of let you know that that's how it works. Now, um, I'm going to write this formula down. The area of a triangle is base times height divided by 2. Is that something you've learned before? You learned that before? Base yes. times height divided by 2? Yeah. Okay. And do you remember me telling you why it's divided by 2? Because if you were to find the area of a rectangle, you would do the base times the height or the length times the width. That's how they describe it. But a rectangle is all of this. A triangle is half. That's why we divide it by 2. So it's base times height divided by 2 because we're only trying to find half of it because that's what the triangle makes up. Okay? Just a quick review on some of those things. All right. So they want us to find the area of this triangle. All right? They tell me 7 centimeters, 5 centimeters, Okay, as I was saying, so I have a 7 centimeters and 5 centimeters, and they're going to take this dotted line and bring it out, and this dotted line right here, and they're going to tell me that this is 4 centimeters. So, from the bottom of the triangle to the top of the triangle, it's 4 centimeters. That is the height that we're wanting to know. The base is from the end of the triangle to the other end, and that's 5 centimeters. Do not get tricked. This right here, nothing. And sometimes they'll put, well, they'll always put a number right there, but you have to know that that's just nothing. They're just telling you what the size of that is, but it doesn't help us. Okay, so how would I discover what the area of this is? It'd be 5 times 4 centimeters. Okay, 5 times 4, so that's 20 centimeters squared. Okay, but what do we know about area of a triangle? Based on height. Divided by 2. 
So the area of this would be 10 centimeters squared. Got it? Okay, let's do a few more. Just make sure you're getting it. All right, here's another one. And this one's a pretty simple one because they're all um, no dotted lines or anything like that. So we got five centimeters, four centimeters, and three centimeters. How about I discover this one? Four times three. Four times three, which is 12 centimeters squared. So this was my base, this was my height. Okay, but we're not done. A equals base times height divided by two. So yes. the final answer is going to be six centimeters squared. Okay? Feel like you understand it? Yeah. All right, now let's talk about the next thing they're wanting us to learn about, which is rectangular area part two. Okay? Now, for example, you're going to start having more complex shapes. And complex just means more difficult. Okay? All right, there's the shape that we're doing. Now, the bottom one is 23, all right, centimeters. The left side is 12. The top is 10. And to the right is 7. Now, I'm going to need your help to answer this problem. All right, I got all my numbers on there, okay? I know the bottom, I know the right, I know this top piece, and I know the left. I still need to discover this piece and this piece, okay? So, whenever you're looking at something like this, um, if we're trying to find this line, you always look at the line that parallels with it. See this 23, this line, and even this line. These are the ones yes. that parallel. So, if this to this is 10, then this to this would be 10. So, then what portion would that make up? If this whole thing is 23. 23 minus 10. Uh huh, which is 13. 13. Very good. So we know that from here to here is 13. So I'm going to want to put that in. All right? And then and the other one's 5 because 12 minus 7. Okay, very good. So he went on and discovered this one. So look, he looked at the parallel lines. Okay? So from here to here is 7. So then that would be from here to here is 7. So then from here to here would be 5 because the whole thing is 12. Very good. Eli. Okay, now. All right. Now, how do you want to divide this um, rectangular? Um, well, you could problem. make another square to just make it one big square, or you could half it. Okay, so you want to do right here? You see what I'm saying, though? You want to make another square? We're going to do that in a little bit. Okay. That would show them out? Yeah. Yeah, we'll learn to do that in a minute. Okay. Good. So, do you want to do it like this? Yes. Yeah. Or we could have broken it up like this. That's fine. Which do you prefer? Uh, I broke it up like the second one. Okay, so we'll do that. All right, so I'm going to know this times this. So, since this is a rectangle, the area of a rectangle is length times width. 10 times 12, 120. And this is in centimeters squared. Okay? Now let's go over here. Now I have one side that's 13. And the other one that's 7. So 13 times 7. 91. So 91 centimeters squared. So then you would just add 91 plus 120. 211 centimeters squared. Final answer. Got it? Mm -hmm. All right. Now, Eli, just a second ago, was saying that we could do something different. And he is right. Okay, so I'm going to go and show you how to find this exact same problem. That was 23. Okay, so, so far we've gotten 211 centimeters squared on the first way we did it. Okay, this time Eli is saying that we can go on and pretend that this box is still in here for right now. We can just make it part of the shape. Okay, and then once we figure out the whole amount of all of this, then we're going to take this piece out. Is that what you were saying? Mm -hmm. So let's do that. Okay? So I need a measurement that's all the way across the whole the rectangle. It would be 12, 12, and then 23, 23. Okay. Yes. So this would be all 23 from here to here. Yeah. 12 here, 12 here. So if I'm doing length times width of the whole rectangle, what would I do? 23 times 12. Very good. 23 times 12. 6, 4, 3, 2... Six, seven. 
276. So this whole portion is 276, this whole thing. But I don't want the whole thing, okay? I'm going to take off this piece right here. So let's figure this out. 13 times 5, length times width. Is this what you're wanting to do? Mm -hmm. Okay, 65. So this portion right here in the middle, or on the right side, top corner, is 65, this piece. So we're going to take this out. Okay, it's my little dotted line. We're going to take this piece out and remove it. So to remove it, we would have to subtract it, right? Take away. So then we would get 211 centimeters squared, just as the other. Okay, so it just depends on what you like to do. Okay, that is lesson 37.